Hey, what's going on? Rakeem Addison here, and on today's video, I want to share with you the three laws of wealth, right? So, I want to jump right into it, but like I always say, I want you to pay very close attention to the information that I'm sharing with you because it could change your life if you not only listen, but implement what I share with you. So, with that being said, we're going to jump right into the first law of wealth. The first law of wealth is how to acquire it. Right. So I'm going to give you a couple of recommendations that uh, of some industries that have millionaires and billionaires in them. So you have affiliate marketing. Now, affiliate marketing is where you promote other people's products for a percentage of the earnings or other companies products for a percentage of the earnings. Examples. You have Best Buy that does it. You have Walmart that does it and many other uh, companies out there that have affiliate programs and they will pay you for it. Right. All right. You also have real estate, people who sell houses, right? There's millionaires and billionaires in that industry as well. You have the financial industry. There's millionaires and billionaires in that industry as well. E-commerce, same exact thing. There's millionaires and billionaires. Now, here's the thing I want you to understand. All of those industries, they all require you to do one thing, and that's sell. You have to sell, right? Do you know that sales is one of the highest paid industries? Do, do you realize that? And what I also realize is that to create true wealth, you have to sell something. Look at, look at all the people that are successful. What are they doing? They're all selling. So I want to say this, right? And I'm not against jobs because I have a job myself. I'm in the military. But what I want to say is a job alone cannot create true wealth for you unless you feel like waiting 65 to 70 years to get your wealth. Because in a job, you're always going to be capped at a certain amount of income. It doesn't matter if you get a promotion or a raise or anything like that. You're still going to be capped at a certain amount of income. So it's best that you understand that. All right. So that's how to acquire your wealth. Now I'm going to talk about how to keep it. Right. What I realize is that there's a lot of people when they start making more money or they get a promotion or anything like that, they start spending more money. That's the wrong answer, my friend. That is the wrong answer. The difference between like, like, let's think about it. A person that makes twelve hundred dollars every single paycheck. And what do they do? They go out and spend eleven hundred of it. You see what I mean here? And that can be like, that can be the same thing with a billionaire. Let's say, or, or a millionaire, right? Let's say a millionaire, uh, someone makes a million dollars a year and they go out and spend 900,000 of that or 999,000 of that million dollars every single year and they just keep repeating that. Do you know that they can live paycheck to paycheck as a millionaire? Does that, does the, is that clicking with you? So. The, the whole point of, 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 of the second law of wealth is to lower your expenses. So, for example, if I go live, I go, I become a millionaire today, right? Let's say I become a millionaire today. And what I would do to, to keep my expenses low is I would go live in something for a thousand dollars a month. No exaggeration, right? Now, I'm not giving you BS, right? I, I'm just being honest because I've learned the three laws of wealth. You got to be able to keep your wealth. And, and, and the reason that you'll see people who get out of the NFL, they go bankrupt or they go broke, right? Or you get people who were wealthy and they go broke. Look at MC Hammer, right? How does that happen to people? They don't cut their expenses. They raise their expenses along with their raised income that they just received. And that is the key to failure and being broke and bankrupt. I'm, I'm, I'm just being completely honest with you, right? I'm a perfect example, right? I'm a perfect example. When I was going through the ranks, when I first joined the Army, uh, I went from E2 to E3 to E4 to E5, right? And if you understand anything about the Army, then you understand the rank system. Now, what I did, every time I started making more money, I started spending more money. And I realized I was living paycheck to paycheck every time I did that. So if I was making like 900, I was spending like 850. So how much did that leave me, right? Like, it was just failure, all right? So the, that goes to the second law of wealth, which is how to keep it. All right, now we're going to talk about the last law of wealth, right? The third law. 
how to use it. This one is important. Now, we talked about how to keep it. You want to keep your expenses down. Now, we're talking about how do you grow your, your wealth, right? So, if you, most times, if it's with a business, you want to, what you make from your business, you want to invest that back into your business to grow your business even more, right? Now, most people, when they make money, like, when, when they get that money, they want to spend it. They want to go get them a new car, a new some new shoes. Like, they want to spend it. Now, granted, you got to have percentages, right? Do you realize that people who are wealthy, they pay themselves before they pay bills? You should be doing that exact same thing, right? Pay yourself at least 10% of your paycheck before you pay bills. Before you pay bills, right? I tell this to people all the time, right? I, I read a lot of success books, like books that, that are going to help me grow to become my greatest version. And I share this with people. I share... When your paycheck comes in, pay yourself 10%. And that 10%, it's not to pay you so you can go do your nails. It's not to pay you so you can go out with your homeboys. Like, it, it's not to pay you for that. It's to pay you for the future. So put it away. Or you can put it away to invest it. Right? So that's the difference between a wealthy person and a broke person is a wealthy person pays their self first. Right? They pay their self first. And you can start applying this into your life. Now you may be going, you may be struggling. Maybe you have to start with 5%. I don't know. But 10% is what most, most successful people do. Or at least they recommend. It's 10% of your income should go towards your future. Every single paycheck. Right? And I'm implementing this in my life. 10% of everything that I make goes into another account and what I do most times is I take some of that money and, and, and that 10 percent and then I invest it so I can grow my business or and grow my wealth at the same time right so I hope that you got value from this video and that was the three laws of wealth my friend and if you enjoyed this go ahead and smash that like button and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel be sure to do so because on this channel I share with people how to become their greatest version as well as increasing their income. So with that being said I look forward to seeing you in the next video my friend. Peace.